So, the last video pretty much was everyone declaring war on us. Uh, and I'm actually fine with that. The problem is that we have no one to trade with, and uh, that's my biggest fear, is I don't want to fall behind technology, at least not too far behind. Uh, that. So I, I'm, a, I'm a little bit worried, but I think if we just somehow find a way to get some gold, we'll be okay. Now there are a few ways to accomplish this, uh, and the biggest way, I think, is by going around and plundering caravans. So I do see a few caravans moving throughout. These through the Netherlands and moving through Paris to Orleans, and I think I've seen a few, uh, I, I haven't seen any cargo ships, and that's what I'm really banking on here, because the problem is I can't just run out in between Orleans and Paris, because these are, these cities are perfectly placed where there's no extra spot for me, um, to, to land, to maybe plunder some of those routes, and I'm not willing to just send, I don't think I want to just send a unit out there, and, and have them destroyed just so that I can get another 200 gold. That's not really going to keep my... It's not really going to help the situation out any any better. Uh, the other thing that I want to do, I think the thing that I will do, is that I'm going to send a boat to the North Sea. I imagine there's got to be some sort of cargo ships. Because remember, I'm at war with everybody. Uh, almost everybody. There's a few. There's, there's still Portugal, which I want to make uh, a, a nice note of. Because I can trade with Portugal. I just have to get up a cargo ship. And I think I'll only be able to trade with one. I think I only have one route right now because uh, if we look at the trade route overview, trade available, um, we can take, oh, wait a second, we might have two actually. Yeah, we can go to Nottingham. Well, actually, we should be able to go to all of those. Wait, 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 I'm, I think I'm a little bit confused. Okay, so Nottingham can do Porto and Lisbon. So we have possibly two different routes that we can go towards. Uh, the thing is that I thought, I thought there was some sort of issue with that. I'm not 100%. What it was, well, it, does, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. So yeah, obviously I want to build up some cargo ships to trade with Portugal. Uh, but first, like I said, I'm going to go towards the North Sea and try to see if I can't find a few cargo ships up there to plunder from my enemies. Uh, so we're going to do that. As well as over the break, I, uh, I switched around some citizen management. We're pretty much going to not grow. As you can see, I, my happiness is at one right now. That's because I annexed the, uh, the Celts' capital. And I'm going to build a courthouse in five turns, so that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we're going to hold back against France. The, the third kind of way, so besides like you know plundering caravans and cargo ships uh, and then send, sending a trade route to Portugal, the third way would be just to take over a city. Now, we're going to get gold by taking over a French city, um, and I think we're just going to go for... Paris first, just because Orleans is going to be a little bit more difficult because there is a river here, which means it's going to eat up a movement point uh, where I can attack Paris with four attacks, four longbowmen attack uh, on the citadel, on the sheep, and on these two forest tiles, and, and I won't get a, any sort of attack back. So that is going to be the plan, and if I can't move anybody now, I can't move anybody now, so we'll have to wait. And yes, I know I'm going to lose this ship. That was my pro That was my fault. But uh, again, luckily, I've been a pretty, I've been pretty risky with my ships. Uh, I, I didn't, re I didn't realize that Orleans was also going to. Actually, I wasn't thinking that this, the, uh, the two AIs would work together. The Spanish boat and Orleans would both attack the same, the same unit. But whatever. Well, I guess it was Orleans that attacked first. I'm sure if Spain attacked first, they would have done something dumb. Uh, anyways, boats don't really matter. I can build a boat in like one or two turns. Uh, I've been really risky with my boats, and that's fine. Uh, it actually it helps our economy a little bit better, especially now that we've built two more units. This is not going to make things uh, at all uh, and that much better. Okay, so what, what do we got here? Uh, we need to, first of all, we need to wait for the courthouse there. Um, did we finish the National College? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. So we're going to get a, a, a little bit of a, Oh, wait a second. I don't know why. I forgot to mention this. Uh, I have no idea why I thought I was going to get a free technology from the National College. I, was, must, I must be thinking of the uh, Oxford University. That is that was probably what I was thinking. So I apologize for that. Uh, that is okay though, because I I believe I'm still getting a a uh, a technology in about three turns when I take away a when I steal away a tech from France. So uh, either way, strategy still works. The crack didn't have too much of an impact so far. Uh, believe me, I've I've been sitting here staring at this screen for like a few hours. So I'm I'm excited to uh, to kind of put this all into play. I know that there was a, once I had everyone declare war on me at the same time, I was like, all right, shit's got real. I, I've got to get serious now. Uh, I'm going to send these workers down south, and we're going to just build trading posts all over the place uh, in this former Spanish city. Uh, I will give you open terrain because we're going to be fighting mostly open terrain uh, for, the rest of the, for the rest of this war. 
Uh, and let's go ahead and put everyone in place. That is for everyone that is all healed up. Uh, I will bring the English pikemen down south towards the deer. That's going to eat up a movement, but that's okay. And uh, we're going to try our best to navigate around the Netherlands as well as Paris and try to find something for us to attack, something for us to plunder. I do see a, a, a small Dutch boat that I could go after, but uh, that's not really going to help too much. Uh, that's not going to help us money-wise. You've got to heal, and you've got to heal. Okay, and we're going to back away from here. So eventually, I've got to destroy this boat. I don't know how I'm going to do it because I only have two boats, and uh, I think it's more important that I go and try to plunder a trade route rather than destroy the Spanish ship. But eventually, I have to destroy the Spanish ship uh, so that I can send over a safe enough cargo ship to Porto. Uh, so for now, we're going to go inside of this city. Ooh, we need to be careful. I think I'll be fine. I'll be safe uh, as long as Orleans doesn't attack us, which they won't. As long as someone else doesn't attack us also, like a uh, if they don't send over like a crossbowman or something like that. Okay, you are going to heal as well, and you heal inside the city so you heal even faster. We might send another ship up to the North Sea if it's like just, you know, raging with cargo ships, which I would seriously doubt. I don't think – I think I'd be happy if we just find one, to be honest. I'd be totally happy to just find one. Okay, so we finished National College, National College, which increases the amount of time, uh, which, I mean, it's going to help out the science situation. I know that our science situation is already in a pretty bad spot, but that's okay. Uh, let's try to get out a workshop so at least by the time we do get education, we'll be able to pump out a university fast. Uh, now, I think I want at least one cargo ship, and I think let's build one cargo ship for now. I for sure want one cargo ship for now. You did finish Long Bowman. Very nice. I'm thinking for you. I mean, I could do another cargo ship. Yeah, I probably should. I think I, I just want, I want two. I'm just, I'm, the only thing is, you know what? I know I'm not going to build another one just because that's, I'm, I'm investing too heavily in, in this trade route to Portugal. We don't even know if they're going to be, uh, they might declare war on us at any point, And we don't even know if we can destroy the Spanish ship. So I'm only going to build one. And you're also going to work on the, on the workshop because you have terrible production as well. So that will be the plan. Uh, accuracy one, very nice. And I know I'm going to be falling behind in science, but that's okay because uh, I'll be getting education soon. And uh, and then after I get education, you know, we're going to pump out universities everywhere and figure out where to go from there. As well as you know, because I am England, I get that, that additional spy. And there's a whole bunch. Eventually, there's going to be a whole bunch of nations for me to spy on. Uh, there'll be a whole bunch of opportunities for me to go and steal technology. So I'm actually kind of okay for falling behind a little bit in technology. And uh, speaking of a whole bunch of nations, yes, I know. Obviously, once I get deep sea sailing, I'm going to go discover America, and I will probably be able to trade with them very freely uh, without you know any concern. Okay, so what I want to do is I think what I'll do is land this. I'm going to put this pikeman out towards the English Channel, and then I'm going to put him on the Citadel. Yes, uh, trading post everywhere, and we need to destroy things now. If I – see, there's so much rough terrain around here. I just don't feel comfortable putting a – especially not a pikeman. I only have two melee units as it is. Well, I have a warrior. Um, but I don't really have the money to upgrade him to a swordsman, which I am considering, though, at some point. So let's go ahead and attack this guy, and uh, I guess there's nothing else to do with them but attack Paris. So we will do that. And we've gotten we've got crossbowmen's coming. I will stay up this way, and we will heal. I still don't know how. Like I said, I don't know how I'm going to destroy that Spanish ship, but hopefully we get lucky. Uh, I can put you inside of not. No, I, wait. Well, I don't know why I thought you were a boat. Well, because you were embarked. I guess I get why I thought you were a boat. Uh, Dublin is starving. Dang it. Well, I, I, tr I shift around. I, I kind of changed around the citizen management in Dublin to, so that they could work a little bit faster. I think the problem with that is, well, I, man, I... They're not starving, starving. They're just stagnant. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off until we get the workshop built. I'm going to try to hold off until we get the workshop built. Yeah, so we'll see about that. Uh, don't care about the diplomatic implications so far. There's going to be too many of those notifications. Germany and Venice have made peace. See, I can't just also I cannot just land on this caravan. I can't just go boom, boom. Uh, it, my turn is over after I do two, uh, after I move two tiles away. So a, the caravan's going to need to be at least one turn, one tile away. I don't know what's located inside of Orleans. If it's just one city bombardment, I'm not super worried about it. It's just. I don't know. When this worker, when this warrior is good to go, then maybe I'll try something. But I don't want to try something with the pikemen. I don't really feel comfortable doing that. 
Okay, good. The perfect time for this Longbowman to be uh, healed completely. Let me go ahead and attack you. Take this Pikeman. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, well, let's just focus on destroying units. So we should be able to do that, that, and that. Very nice. All right, that worked. Uh, let's attack this boat. And I need to figure out exactly how I'm going to land this Longbowman. I don't know if I want to... There's really nowhere else. Actually, you know what? We're going to go here. If we're going to attack Paris, we need to go on the corner. Uh, so we will we will land right there. And the pikemen will be here just in case. Whenever we're ready to attack Paris, I'll go on this tile here, just north uh, of the French capital. Okay, so let's go up this way and see if we can't see figure something out. There's a caravan. Come on, give me something. Give me something. Really am looking for anything right now. Okay, you're going to stay there. You're going to build me a trading post. What do we find out? Do we see anything? No. Okay, that's fine. Hey, but we still destroyed two French units. I feel comfortable doing that. feel very happy with that. Uh, our crossbowmen are, are ready, and we're going to start to attack Paris right now. Now, my fear is that when we take over Paris, uh, we are going to be opening ourselves up to an attack against someone like Germany. Uh, as you can see, the Netherlands borders don't go very far down south. This looks like, if you can see, I know it's really hard to see, but uh, on my screen, you can see it's a little bit gray. Uh, obviously, I mean, because I know that Berlin is here, uh, and it looks like the Netherlands, see, you can tell right there, there's a border. There's only one nation that could be there. Well, I mean, here's Denmark. I guess it could be Denmark as well, but that looks gray to me. Yeah, right there. That's a black border, which means gray and black. Here's here's Rome, if you look like that, if you look very close enough. So I'm, I'm worried about attacking Paris because this is all open terrain. So anything to the east of the French capital will be open for an attack. I'm, I'm worried about that. But we'll see. Here we go. So steel technology, that is what I was hoping for. Uh, now the problem is that there's no education. Dang it. Well, that is okay. I still need... I still need... Well, what I could do... I'm going after physics right now. Because I did shift my, my technology around. Going, I'm going after physics, but I can't steal physics anyways. I'm thinking chivalry because we do need banking. Yeah, let's go chivalry. We do need banking. And how is the... Here we go. So we might be able to steal another uh, technology in five turns. So I'm going to stay on, on researching physics for now and hope that Madrid's going to offer us something. Let's cross our fingers. It's something. I didn't, I didn't consider the fact that France wouldn't have um, education discovered. So that kind of sucks. But either way, it's okay. Uh, okay, so this guy is done healing. I don't think I'm going to send him to the North Sea because so far we don't see anything. I'm going to be careful. Be very, very careful here. Come on. There's got to be something. Uh, is there a safe enough spot? See, I don't know what's going on behind Sweden. No, I think I should probably start doubling back around. Yeah, I'm going to start heading back now. Try to get some vision on the Netherlands at, at the very least, though. Let's get you inside the city. And, uh, again, we're going to need to protect this, this cargo ship when we have it built eventually. I can't really land anywhere to get some support because he's not leaving. Uh, France won't give him open borders, so that is an issue. And I cannot attack Orleans because of that stupid forest. Mm, there's also a Spanish trade route, too. Uh, again, I cannot enter that territory. Yeah, man, I mean, I'm I'm considering it. I don't want to do it unless it's with one of these units. With, with like a warrior unit or something like that. I guess what we can do is we could just focus on attacking... Uh, there we go. So next turn I'll be able to attack. So let's just go ahead and focus on attacking the French capital. Try to take this over as quickly as possible so that we get a surplus of gold. At least something in our stockpile. Uh, we also need to switch up. You know, this might be a good opportunity. I would be able to escape, right? This is open. Okay, so you know what? I might just do it. I'm pretty sure if I stand here, I don't know what's inside of Orleans, though. That's my fear. Let's try to get some vision. Good. Okay, so you know what? There is no range unit inside of Orleans. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down south, and I'm going to stand here. Hopefully, a caravan goes by, and we plunder it automatically. So since there's no range unit, at least inside of Orleans, I don't know what is behind this fog of war, um, I think they'll only be able to bombard us, and then we'll run back towards uh, this city later on. So let's just stay there. 
I've got a long bowman here too, which technically it might not be a bad idea to try to take a shot at this Spanish boat. Since I already have since I'm already gonna get bombarded anyways. Let's go ahead and try it. And then I need to send this guy here. Okay, let's move the general off to the east as well. What do we find out? Promoted spies, still technology is faster. Awesome, that's perfect. And we have discovered that Paris is or Napoleon is uncovered. Napoleon is playing against Bismarck. There you go. Okay, that's that's fine. So good. You know what? They actually decided to attack the long bowman. Boom, we got 100 gold. Nice. Very nice. All right. So that worked uh, somewhat there. Now I'm going to probably back up. Ah, they moved their boat. Those Dang it. Uh, I'm pretty sure my cargo ship is going to be here in two turns. Well, at least it's a little bit. Ooh, look. Boom. Boom. There we go. We finally got one. Now that guy might have been moving around. I don't know how long he's been moving around for. He could have been moving a while for a while. There's nothing safe here. You know, I could totally land inside of, in between Paris and the Netherlands, but that's probably a bad idea too. Oh my gosh, yes. Now normally, I just talked about how I wanted to create a lot of great works, but not in this situation here. Let's go ahead and start a golden age. I don't know if it's going to really help my situation out that much. And let's plunder this. Thank you very much. That's 200 gold. Cool. And you know, if you're not going to be in the corner, I'm going to attack you. If you're going to be not in the corner, I think we'll be safe attacking like this. Awesome. Uh, I can move you. Wait, so this is not... There's no river here, right? I could potentially kill that boat right now. And I'd love to do so. Is this a farm? No, they haven't worked this, so I won't be able to pillage. They will probably kill the crossbowman, the longbowman, if I if I keep him, if I try this. I, I, think, it's, I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to go back inside the city and wait. And yeah, we go back inside the city and wait. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this worker. I guess we'll work that hill tile there. We need to destroy the knight, or else he's going to come and be pretty annoying. Uh, and let's... Okay, so we didn't destroy it completely. And now I will attack Paris. Okay, that worked, and good. Okay, so we, get, we built the courthouse. We're doing a little bit better in terms of our happiness. I mean, it was it wasn't it's not back to where it was. I think it was at five before, but at least it's only at four, and now I have access to be able to you know utilize the city. Three was not enough because Dublin, or I'm sorry, well I, York, uh, it was was terrible. Its production is absolutely horrible. So I could spend eighty. I think I need to. I know this is ri risky and it could be really stupid, but I would love another melee unit. Something that I can play a little bit more risky with. Something that just in case I lose this pikeman, uh, will be okay. So I'm going to upgrade him. I have a feeling that we're going to be okay money-wise. We'll see. Let's go up a little bit deeper just so I can look. Okay, so here's Hamburg. So it does look like Germany will be somewhere down south, I, I imagine. Okay, that's fine. Let's, let's back up and just kind of keep an eye on Amsterdam. Just want to keep an eye on it. See what they got going on there. So Orleans now both, they both, I guess they must have purchased a composite bowman or something. So uh, I, I think I want to, I wonder if I move in deeper. Now this would be a safe spot. I just don't know what's over here. That's my fear. I'm going to go ahead and try it. Now that we upgraded to a swordsman, I'm going to play a little bit, a little bit more risky. Okay. So we'll see next video if that is going to be a safe spot. I won't be bombarded by Orleans or Paris. I don't know what's down here. There could be a city right there. Hopefully not. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.